Hey everyone, this is Jordan from PictureMonk.com and welcome to another Picture Monk Mimic series where I uh, edit a file or edit a photo that I, I found online uh, to to uh, mimic a particular editing style. And this one is sort of a, a different one because instead of it being an actual file that I found online, a, a photo uh, of, of another photographer maybe, this one is actually a music video. And this was kind of inspired by uh, m one of my dad's posts on his blog who is also a photographer, and he talked about getting inspiration from music videos. And so uh, I'll link to the blog down in the show notes below, and you can kind of see kind of see what I'm talking about. But in that, he he pictured a uh, a, a video from Kenny Chesney's Wild Child uh, video there, and it's a really good uh, it's a really good song. It's a country song, but if you watch the video. You're going to see a whole bunch of differing, different editing styles. And I picked one screen grab from the video, which I'll show right here. And you can see how it's sort of a sort of a cool, uh, cool faded look. It's kind of kind of kind of a real hippie look to it. And uh, so I kind of wanted to mimic that here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And so I got this photo that I found online right here. It's a it's kind of a similar similar scene. And so we're going to go ahead and turn this photo into uh, into sort of that series. So here we go, guys. I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'll, as always, I'll give you the free preset, and you can apply it to your photo. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I get the tone curve correct. That is, that is kind of the key to, to bringing in all the elements of this video. So I'm going to create three points here. I'm going to kind of create one right here. Uh, right here and let's do another one down at the bottom and this will give me a little bit of room to play with the uh, the tonal uh, the whites and the blacks and the midtones here so for this one I'm just gonna drag right around there and I need to get a little bit more white going on in the in the photo here so I'm gonna do this one and then maybe here I need to get rid of this point so let's just kind of play with it a little bit. When doing tone curves like this, it's just it's just cool to play with it and to see how it uh, how it comes out. So that's kind of the fade that I want. That's actually working pretty well. And this is without any edits to the the basic module here. So I'm just gonna keep playing with it till I kind of get that fade going. So right around there. And if you happen to create a point, like I got this point up here, I created another point. And if you happen to don't want that one, if you did it by mistake, you just click it and drag it off, and it'll uh, kind of reset. So I think that's the fade that I want to go for. So now we need to go to the basic module. This one's going to be sort of uh, sort of a, uh, an easy one because it, it only requires basically two modules. So uh, I'm going to bump the exposure up just a little bit. And what that does is obviously increase the whites here. So... I'm going to take the whites down, maybe right there. Uh, let's go and get the color right. So I'm going to take the vibrance down, take the saturation down a little bit, not much, because that's where it starts to get into like a monochrome. So I need to get it back roughly there. Uh, and let's do shadows, bump those up a little bit. Highlights take those way down. And the contrast, we can take that one down too. So right around there, I like the way that looks. Um, I feel like I need to change her skin tone, uh, but I don't. I, I kind of try to want to stay away from that, but I'm going to see how it looks. So I'm going to take out the orange in her skin and the red. Just desaturate those. So right there. And let's see, uh, I do need to change the greens in the photo as well because you can kind of see in the, the photo up here, the greens aren't as, uh, aren't as punchy. So I'm going to take the greens down a little bit right there. Uh, and then maybe cool it a little bit. So sort of like that. I kind of like the way that looks. That sort of that gives that that um, that matching effect of you can you can kind of see how the the similarities are. It's it's faded. Uh, the desaturation is there, and uh, I might want to mess with the blacks too to brighten those up so that way it doesn't all get lost. So let's do right there. Yeah, yeah, that added the the little punch that I needed. So there you go, there guys. That's that's basically it. That's a simple effect to, for getting that uh, that preset there. 
So if you want to download this preset, uh, just go to picturemonk.com and you can see the Mimic series there. Uh, I'll also link uh, that in the show notes as well so you can go directly there and, and download the free preset. So uh, thank you guys for joining me in this video and I will see you guys in the next, uh, next video.